To balance this equation, Na plus HCl yields NaCl plus H2. Let's count up the atoms on each side of the equation. So we have sodium, Na, we have one of those. Hydrogen, we have one. Chlorine, we have one of those. On the product side, we have Na, and we have one of those. And then the hydrogens, we have the two. And the chlorine, we have the one. So everything's balanced except the hydrogens seems that if I want to fix the hydrogens, I need two on this side, I can put a coefficient of two in front of the HCl. So now I have one times the two, that'll give me the two hydrogens, those are balanced. But this two applies to everything here. So we have one times the two for the chlorines, and now we have two chlorines. So we fixed the hydrogens, but the chlorines aren't balanced. Well, let's do the same thing over on the product side. We'll put a coefficient of two, in front of the NaCl, so one times two, we have two chlorines, those are balanced, but we have the one times the two for the sodium, so now the sodiums aren't balanced. But that's pretty easy because we just have one sodium atom here, we need to have the two, so we can have it balanced. So we just put a coefficient of two in front of the Na, one times two, and that gives us two, and now Everything is the same on each side. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equations for sodium plus hydrochloric acid yields sodium chloride and hydrogen gas. Thanks for watching.